What is going on guys? It is your boy Sherman the Vermin back with a new video. I'm with a very unfamiliar face right here. You guys don't know who this is. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hi guys, I'm Leslie. This is Leslie. We have been talking for seven months. She's not my girlfriend, but she is my girl. So my girlfriend, she's my girl. We've been talking for seven months. A lot of people have been asking me, why are you keeping this from us? Why have you not said anything about you having a girlfriend? People, a lot of people thought that she was my girlfriend. Why are you keeping this from us for seven months? I'm gonna explain how we met. Everything that's happened in the past seven months that nobody knows about except me and Leslie. But first, if you guys like jewelry like this, earrings, chains, necklaces, bracelets, rings, anything you want, hit the link in the description, check out a porn, use code Sherman for $15 off. With that being said, let's get on with the video. I'm gonna try to keep this with as little cuts as possible. That We filmed this video last night, we filmed earlier today, and we just don't know how to get this right we, we want to make this perfect um, and it's just it's been chaotic we don't we, there's so much to talk about in such a little time but we're going to simplify everything and you know just give you guys the main details and we'll go from there first of all um, how we met so me and Brandon and Mandy and Clint and Rami and Jessica just moved into that house the team house um, it was like a week in, we had just moved in, and my friend Omar, my good friend Omar, messaged me and said, hey, congrats on the new place. I said, yo, come through and come check it out. He said, for sure. I'm down, is it cool if I bring someone with me? I said, of course, that's fine. So, um, that somebody was Leslie. Do you want to explain what happened? Yeah. And that's it? So, Omar reached out to me and he said, hey, I have a friend. He just got a new house. Come with me. He's uh, really nice, he's really dope, it's gonna be chill, it's gonna be fun, just come with me. So uh, I said, okay, I agreed. He had said um, that we were gonna meet up at around eight. So then eight came around, and then Omar said that Anthony was busy filming a video, so he wasn't ready until nine. Then nine came around, and he wasn't ready yet. So then- I was still filming a video with Brandon. Yeah. And so then it was 10 and I was actually gonna flake on Omar. I tried, I texted him and I'm like, hey, it's getting late, I have to work tomorrow. How about you just go? And then he's like, no, you have to come with me. Said, we'll only be there for an hour. It's gonna be chill, it's gonna be fun, just come. 10 o'clock comes around and Leslie and Omar pull up to my house. I just remember seeing Leslie and thinking to myself like, damn, she is so fine. But my mindset at the time was, no girlfriends, no relationships, strictly like, you know, strictly grind. 2020, like it was my year. Um, my channel was, was growing at a rapid rate and, and I was helping Brandon a lot with videos. I was helping Brian a lot with videos. I was having time in my life and I told myself I did not want to get into a relationship and I had this mindset for about eight months up until that day. I saw Leslie and um, we talked a little bit. Me, Omar and Leslie talked and um, you know, me and Omar were drinking a little bit. We moved to the bar. I just remember looking at Leslie. In my head, like, damn, she is beautiful. Like, I, I love the way she looks. Her lips are so nice. And that's all I'm gonna say. And then I'm just looking at her. He got caught looking at me. She literally <laughs> turns and looks right at me. I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, the ceilings are real nice. It's so obvious, too. <laughs> I wasn't trying to make it obvious, or maybe I was. Maybe that's just the way I flirt, but. After that night, Leslie and Omar went home. Um, I ended up getting Leslie's Instagram, and then through Instagram, I got her number and and her Snapchat, and we just um, became friends. That's that's how me and Leslie met. That's how we met. I met her through my friend Omar, and we just vibe. This is how we got into a relationship. One day, I'm like, "Yo, Omar, I'm sorry, bro. I'm gonna be a horrible friend. I'm gonna text Leslie. I'm not gonna mention it to you." I texted Leslie and I said, "Hey, like, do you want to come over?" She rejected me two times in a row because she had work. And the third time, like a week later, I said, look, if you want to hang out, let me know. If not, then it's cool. I'm not thirsty. She was just really fine. And I'm like, I, I like I liked her vibe. And, and the two times that she rejected me, she had a good reason. She was busy. She was working. So I'm like, okay, third time charm. Like, if she says no this time, then I get the message and, and that's it. I'm done. The third time she says, Okay, yeah, that's fine. I'll come over. Oh, damn, I'm like, damn, looking at my phone. Like, she coming over, she not coming over. She ended up coming over. At this point, Leslie had not flirted with me at all. I had flirted with her a little bit saying, 
you have beautiful eyes. She's talking to her Instagram a little bit, and um, she comes over that night. We're on my balcony. We're having really deep conversations, and I was really digging it. I'm like, yo, I, like I really like this girl. We're vibing on a whole other level. But she was not flirting with me. She did not show the signs that she liked me or that she wanted anything more than just a friendship. So I kind of gave up. Not really gave up, but I didn't. I didn't want to seem pushy or like thirsty so i'm like okay whatever you know we're just friends that's cool we go back in my room and i'm showing her this video of me on the cruise like really drunk i think brandon recorded it and i was just really really drunk out of my mind and she's looking at it and we're laughing at this video what are you gonna tell him what she said i said look at that cutie she said look at that cutie and she's pointing at me on the screen and we're laughing and, and we're watching the video and then i look at her and i'm like does she just did she just say what I think she said? She's gonna be and cute. it kind of just slipped out too. It like, just slipped out? I was thinking about it and I guess I said it out loud too. So <laughs> we're learning things today. It slipped out and um, she pretty much told me, she, she pretty much said that I was cute without really like thinking too much of it. Right when she said that, all my thoughts changed. I'm like, yo, I have a chance here. I'm not gonna say everything that happened that night, but I will just say that we kissed. That night we kissed. And, um, you know, I really liked her and, and it just felt different. And, you know, after we kissed, um, we, we kept in touch. She went home and we just started texting. We were texting like every day. Okay, so that's how we met. And then that's how we got into a low relationship. So from then on, we started hanging out a lot. Um, she was coming over to my place. Um, she came over like four or five times. And um, we were just vibing every time I was digging her vibe. It wasn't even like this girl that I was trying to like get at. It was more of like, yo, she's cool. She's dope. I, I like being like, I like being friends with her alongside like, I like having a relationship with her. Um, I was just digging every every aspect of, of what me and her had. And she, she was somebody that I could talk to about a lot of things. And, and I was able to open up to her. So she ended up inviting me to her apartment in which I was like, yo, for sure, like, that's what's up. So I went to her apartment, I brought gifts for her and her roommates, like, oh, thank you for letting me into your house, here are some gifts. So I met her roommates, they called me Shermie. That was their nickname for me was Shermie, um, which in, in Chaldean, or Arabic, I don't know exactly, but that means ass. But they didn't know that, but Shermie means like my ass. So anyways, I thought that was pretty funny. Um, vibe was, Still goes good with so, Yeah, it's, the, you know, I am a Shermie, but, um, yeah, so you know, I was I was digging that her roommates are super cool, super nice. These are like her her like best friends, and I was like, all right, cool. Like I'm stepping up, and and we're getting a little more serious. You know, I'm, I met her friends. She met Brandon. She had met Brian at the time, and, and I'm like, all right, cool. We went to the zoo. You know, we, we hung out a lot. We we're really close friends, and and you know, um, we we're having a lot of a lot of fun together. About a month later, I get a text from Brian's manager. He says, Hey, Anthony, this is so and so, and um. I was just wondering if I can get your information for the movie. I'm like, what the heck, what movie? So I go on Brian's Instagram and on Brian's story, he announced that he was coming out with a movie. And I just started freaking out. I'm like, what, what is going on? So why, what, why does Brian's manager need my information? How was Brian coming out with a movie? Like, what the heck? So I called Brian, I'm like, yo, what, what's going on? He said, dude, I have a big opportunity for you. I want you to star in my movie but it is going to take a lot of time and effort and hard work and you know, you're gonna to have to dedicate a lot of your time to this if you are up for it. If you have things going on, just let me know and I can find someone else. I said, no, no, like, of course, of course I'm down. So now I have a very big opportunity that's going to take so much time out of my days. Um, I had got the schedule the next day and the schedule was time about from 3 o'clock p.m. to 3 o'clock a.m., 12 hour days where I wouldn't be getting a lot of sleep. I was, you know, I was gonna be working a lot and, um, you know, I was gonna have to put a lot of my time and effort and and my attention to, to this. So I started thinking very hard about, you know, like my relationship with Leslie. I was really into her, but at the same time, I was, I liked seeing her happy, um, you know, and I was giving her a lot of attention and I knew that with this movie, I wasn't able to give you the attention that you deserve with this movie coming up. So I started thinking to myself, you know, like, I think we need to break up. So that next day I texted Leslie and I said, hey, um, I, I need 
we need to talk. And she said, okay, that's fine, I'll call you right now. I said, I think we need to talk in person. So later that day, I went over to her apartment. Um, I told her what the deal was. I told her like, you know, this is what's happening. I'm very busy right now and, and you deserve 110% and I can't give you that. I don't want to waste your time. You know, like it's going to be hard. Leslie didn't know like about YouTube. She didn't know like the work that goes into it. Like she hasn't been on camera before. Like, you know, a lot of people don't know like about how hard or like how much time it takes. A lot of people don't know that. And it takes a lot of time and, and you, when you're a YouTuber, you seclude yourself from everybody around you and you just focus on being on camera and, and being an entertainer. So when I went to her house and, and broke up with her, she was a little confused. Do you want to tell them how you were yeah. feeling? I was confused because the day before we had gone to dinner and everything was great. We, we always vibe, like we always had a good time, always. And then it was just a little confusing because then the next day he's like, hey, you know, this isn't gonna work out. But I also couldn't be selfish because I understood and I told him that I support his decision because I cared for him. I still care for him. I care for him so much. I wanted him to succeed and still, you know, work on himself. I, ugh, I don't wanna be the one holding him back. That's how he felt. Um, I wanted to do the opposite. So then after, you know, we talked about it, we both agreed on it, and um, I just told him, you know, I have to deal with this on my own. So I told him not to call me or text me. As much as I wanted him to, I had to tell him that because it was just gonna make it harder for us if, you know, if he was still calling me or texting me. It was a very hard time for the both of us um, when, when we were going through that breakup, that was the first time I ever saw her cry. And it was a horrible, horrible feeling for me. I'm like, damn, like, well, what did I do? Like, but at the same time, I didn't want to be wasting her time. So I let, I let the situation play out. Later that day, um, Brandon said that they're all going fishing. They all, everybody wanted to go fishing. And they said, Anthony, come fishing. At this point, they didn't even know that me and Leslie were serious. You know, they met her before, but they didn't know how serious we were. They didn't even know that we broke up. So um, Brandon's like, yo, come fishing with us. I'm like, all right, cool, like whatever. Maybe being surrounded with my family will help me feel a little better. So I went to the pier and we're fishing and it was honestly like the worst time of my life. I was sitting down on the bench, I'm looking out into the ocean. I'm acting like I'm in a freaking romantic movie and I'm just like, dude, F this. What am I doing? I, I got in my car and I just called her. She did not answer the phone. That's the first time that she ever didn't answer my phone call. Um, and you know, I was a little worried and I'm like, damn, like did I really just mess up this beautiful thing that we had? And I, I just called her again and she ended up answering the second phone call. And um, we talked a little bit and you know, like I told her if, if she can handle me being very busy and she explained to me that she also had something coming up in her life, which would have worked out. I got promoted, so. I was also focusing on myself. She works at a hospital and she got promoted, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so then I told him it was gonna work out because we were both focusing on, you know, new journeys in our life. We were both tied up in something big, but we, we were willing to work through it because we liked hanging out, we liked being together, so we wanted to make it work. So, yeah, so we wanted to make it work and, and you know, I, I, I said to myself, like, come on, just, you know, man up. And um, I was like, okay, so we got back together. So after we got back together, um, our schedules were very, very saturated. It was harder and harder to see each other. I started filming for the yeah. movie. Sometimes I would start around three o'clock PM and I would end at three o'clock AM where Leslie would get off work at four and then, yeah, yeah 4 PM. Leslie would get off at 4 PM. So it's like, I'm just missing her by an hour because I gotta go to this movie set. And um, it was very hard, but you know, we, we managed to get through it. Tried, and yeah. you know, she was there for me and I was I was really stressed out. Um, so was Brian, we had, we had filmed like, you know, it was it was hard work, it was tiring and, and it was very draining. And you know, luckily I had Leslie there um, to you know, help me through it. And even though she was going through so much, she was like, you know, you got this, you're good. Like, you're doing good. And, and all of that like, feeding my motivation was just making me like her even more. And you know, just think to myself like this is, you know, 
this is somebody that I really don't want to lose. With that being said, we broke up again. It got harder. It got harder. harder we broke up because um, one of my close friends was going through something. I don't want to mention any details, but one of my close friends, one of my best friends, was going through a, a, a hard time in their life, and I wanted to be there for that person. And then I'm still filming for this movie, and, and things just got harder, so I went to her house. It was like right before my birthday. I said, Leslie, look, I'm like, this sounds so messed up, but we have to break up again. She's confused. She's like, well, all right, well, here's your birthday gift that I just got you. And this was the birthday gift. So it's a bottle of Blue Label, which is my favorite alcohol. And it has right there, you can see that my name is engraved on it with, the, with my uh, birthday. So after I get this gift right here, uh, my mind is just going a thousand miles per hour and I'm like, dude, what the hell? Like, why is she so perfect? And she started telling me like, if I'm the one holding you back, go like, go do what's best for you. Like, I wanted to see him reach his goals. She wanted to see me reach my goals and she didn't make a big deal of it. She didn't, you know, cuss me out or nothing. She was like, look, I, I understand where you come from. There was no hatred between us because I didn't cheat on her. She didn't cheat on me. There was no hatred between us during the breakup so it was very hard to like stay away mm -hmm. two days later we got back together i was yeah. literally like look i'm sorry this that's the last time i'm gonna do it we're getting back together she said okay like if you do it again i will never talk to you again don't break up with me again and if you do really break up with me and leave me alone i was the one that came back every time just because i, I couldn't stay away and um so we got back together. Ever since then, things have been perfect. Um, she met my family. I have not met her family yet. I've spoke to her, to her two sisters, which are amazing people. They're cool as hell, and um, I like them a lot. They're, they just remind me of my two sisters, and and you know, like I'm very excited to to meet her family. Um, and my family really likes Leslie. Um, they like that she keeps me out of trouble, keeps me focused and motivated, and and you know, she's she's a great help in my life and she makes me happy and my parents see that so um you know all my all my family members know her mandy jessica amanda newer you know everybody everybody knows leslie um in my family and so you know um here we are now um we're seven months later um we've been through a lot of things together we we've been through so much she likes me and i like her and we're just doing ourselves and seven months sounds like a long time it does. Seven months is a long time. It's more than half of a year. But we're still very new. We've been through a lot of things, but we're still very new. Um, we have not said, like, I love you to each other. I know that's a very big milestone in the relationship. Um, I have not said I love you to her. She has not said I love you to me. We're not boyfriend and girlfriend. Um, you know, I haven't even met her parents. So we're taking things slow, but we're also fast as hell. Like, we're speeding through it, but at the same time, we're taking something slow. The important things are going slow. Um, which is fine with me. I want her to take her time. And I want your family to meet me when they're ready. Like that. So these are all things that that are still big milestones that are going to be documented on my channel. I'm, I'm confident that you know she's a she's a great role model. She's someone that I want people to meet. I love showing her off to my friends and and to my family. I love you know how everyone looks at her and they're like, wow, she's she's gorgeous, and um, she's my prize. You my prize. So. Um, yeah, this this is Leslie guys um, You guys are gonna learn a lot about her. She's a little quiet right now because this is her first time being on camera guys it's Her first time ever being on camera. She's a little quiet. She's a little shy, but um, you know, how much can you say right now? Yeah. You know, we're, we're all, there's gonna be a lot of opportunities for you guys to learn a lot about her and um, Yeah, so do you want to do you want to say anything? I'm excited. I'm excited to see what the future holds for us no more breakups no more breakups yeah so <laughs> you know we're um we're very we're very connected and, and we have good communication now and anytime i'm stressed out or she feels that i'm stressed out even without me telling her she knows and and you know she'll she'll take care of it so this is someone that makes me really happy and um i don't care what anybody has to say that you know like oh you're 21 years old right in a relationship like i like leslie um She's someone that has that has pushed me to get through a lot of things, and um, she's an amazing person. So um, I hope you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
This is me introducing my girl Leslie. And um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. I just hit 700,000 followers. And um, once again, if you guys want earrings like these, make sure you hit the link in the description, check out a portal, and use code Sherman for $15 off. With that being said, it's been your boy Sherman Vermin. Leslie. And we're out. Peace.